Hello everyone and welcome to the second tutorial on command blocks and today we'll be uh, reviewing the title command which is basically this. You see you can have a title and a subtitle with different colors and, uh, and letters. So when I teleport to Mac, there we go, welcome back. Alright, so as you can see I have the three command blocks up there. Uh, this, you should know how to, if you don't know how to spawn a command block, this is the, com the command. You just do give um, app player actually your name, which uh, you can fill in with tab. Uh, then you go mine. I'm sorry, command, and then you can hit tab again, and it'll just fill out. And then you give yourself one, and that, there you go. But anyways, so the the title command is actually uh, a simple command, but a, uh, it's hard to uh, code. Because you need to know a basic uh, uh, language called JSON. Uh, so here, as you can see, I have my teleport, uh, which will teleport me uh, exactly 100 blocks away from this pedestal. Uh, that way. Then I have my title command. So as you can see, you have uh, different structures. You can do the title command, and then you can do the, I mean, the same title command, but with a subtitle instead. You see, you have the title command, add the player. Uh, and then you have the subtitle, and then you have the, the specifics to uh, for that uh, subtitle. So in this case, as you can see, if I hit this, it'll say "Welcome" in, in white, and uh, to the far lands, and the far lands exactly is in blue and in italics. So back home, let's see. So when you do not specify the color or the italic, italics or anything, uh, it'll just uh, be in white and uh, <coughs> nothing else. So as you can see, it's a very basic. You can just type it on the on the command here on the command prop. You can just write title, uh, and then you have to write app player or at all. Uh, and I'm in single player, so it really doesn't matter for me. And here you write title or subtitle. So, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have erased that. Uh, title, there we go. And uh, next, you, can, you need to open up one of those squiggly brackets, and you need to write. Uh, sorry, just run back. And then you need to. You can write text, and then you can go ahead and write your text, which would be whatever you want. And then you just close the the thing, and then it'll display your title. You can also specify time, which you can do by, uh, instead of title, it needs to work with another uh, block. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down in a second. Anyways, when you write in JSON, you need to be very specific and very careful of what you write, in it, because if you write anything wrong, the command will just not execute. For example, if I were to ra write uh, text and then the rest without the Wrote without the these, which I forgot the name. My bad. Uh, it might in this case it did work because it's uh, it's okay. However, if I th I think if we do not write it down, as you can see, uh, it'll it'll just give you an error. So in this case, you just have to you know be very careful and write everything correctly, and that's how you get your command to work. That's my phone again. Um, but anyway, here you can you can specify. I like to use the, these uh, in every single term. They are separated by uh, a colon and a comma. Depends on what you're talking about. Uh, allow me to explain that. So if I want to write text, I'm just gonna go ahead and say um, hello, and I'll just finish uh, up with those commas. And then uh, if I want to write another statement, for example, the color. You just need to put down a comma and then say color, another uh, double commas and uh, a colon, and then again open up the double commas and uh, write the color. Jason has specific colors. For example, one is gold, which is which uh, sorry, which is the one I used for home. So if I just close that all down, as you can see, it'll actually hello in a gold color. And you can also, if you want to specify italics, separate it by comma, say ital, it, sorry, italic, and then 
uh, colon, true, and there you go. It now it's in italics. Uh, you can use different uh, formats. For example, bold. I think you can use bold. Let's go ahead and try bold. Uh, bold. There you go. And then it's in bold. Uh, so that's how you play around with the with the text. Uh, you can also, as you can see, if I go ahead and teleport back here, you can see it says to the, and then far lands is in italics and in uh, in color. Uh, so how you do that is you just you see you have this whole thing. So you can do various text at the same texts at the same time. By doing that, you need to put a square bracket at, at the beginning and at the end, and then you can just once you're done writing one of the text, you just place a comma and open up another squiggly line, and then you finish it up with, of course, the uh, square brackets. So here I'm just going to go ahead and write text. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, say I don't know text, then we write, uh, whatever, my name, uh, I think it, app player will work, no, actually just read, read Kevin, alright, whatever, that's my username, mini sender, alright, so why is it night time, anyways, uh, and then, comma, let's go ahead and give it a color, of a different color, just color, uh, sorry, there you go. Color, uh, let's go ahead and go with blue, like the Far Lands. That's as far as I can write here, god damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and continue writing it uh, here. Okay, so blue and that's it. So as you can see, I separated the text, uh, the texts, different texts. I'm gonna have to give it space here because it's gonna be together if I don't. Uh, <clears throat> you separate the texts with the comma, and of course each text has its own, its own parameters inside the squiggly brackets. And everything, the whole command needs, uh, needs to be inside these square brackets. So now when I execute, when we execute, uh, when we execute this, there you go. Hello, me sound to the far left, which is weird. Uh, <clears throat> Yo, that's it. Uh, so now let's move on to subtitles. Uh, I'm just gonna s go ahead and set the time to zero. There we go. Burn. Everything should burn. Um, so as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it back to welcome. It's in bold. It says text hello. Let's go ahead and turn it to welcome. Um, and of course remove the oh shoot the square bracket because if you have only one square bracket it, it won't work however if you have both the square brackets both of them it's still gonna work all right let me just erase that one there we go now back to the subtitles now you can't uh, have subtitles work without uh, executing a title command before it or with it. Uh, how this works is, for example, if this block weren't there, if I executed the subtitle command, let's go ahead and execute a subtitle command. Um, let's go ahead, title, uh, app player, subtitle, and then text, and write down hello. See, the command was successfully executed, however, it's not going to work unless you have a functioning, uh, uh, um, sorry, uh, a title command uh, for the title uh, working at the same time. So if, if I do that again and then find, uh, as you can see, it will display with the next uh, title command. So then if I display the next, the title command, it's not going to work, however, there you go. So you can see, it's weird. Uh, I don't. Th I don't think it's. It, it might not be intended. However, it makes sense. But whatever. Uh, and finally, let's go ahead and put down a command. Oh, nope. A co nope. C 
command block over there and let's go ahead and write uh, actually over here um, you see title title a player and then if you hit tab you have the uh, title subtitle uh, times clear and reset so what times does is times you can just write down uh, the three different uh, parameters which will be fade in stay and fade out so if I say uh, fade in make it I don't know fade in one it'll be one tick ticks uh, are relatively uh, small uh, piece of time so if I, I think 20 is one second uh, so fade in for one second stay for six uh, for three seconds and then fade out in one second as well uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command I just made and paste it over here so when I teleport it's gonna fade in in one second and then it's gonna stay there for three seconds and it's gonna fade out in one other second and that's how the time works alright so that's my tutorial on uh, <coughs> subtitles uh, uh, please comment rate and subscribe tell me if it helped uh, and yeah that's it bye guys